Hi, I'm much of a random stupidity, and wow, it's been, I guess, a little bit since I've done the last food review video? I don't know. Here's how long it's been. Get a load of that. Look at that. That's stupid, isn't it? Uh, pork chop, if you could stop messing with things, that would be great. Anyways, so... I went to my local little budget type grocery store thing because I'm poor and I got some snack things and I got I got three different things well it's a little more than three but we'll get into that in a minute and I wanted to review for a video so this is three cool snack things I found at my local grocery store all right the first one I want to get into first because it's was refrigerated and it's also a little bit of a personal rant for me. This is called Watergate Salad. Now, if you look at it, kind of just looks like... Well, hold on. Let me get the lid off of this bad boy. Kind of just looks like green sludge. And to be fair, it is. But, like, I, I, like everyone I've ever met in my entire life has had no idea what this stuff is. And I only recently found it again. But my grandma, who I love dearly, it's just she used to make this for me all the time and I never knew what it was it was just like the green slop it was good but it's like here let me read off some of the ingredients it's like pineapple whip topping it's sugar non-fat milk it's just like I distinctly remember it being like pineapple and like whip stuff but it's I don't really know what makes it green I imagine it's just food dye right like surely it's just food Uh, but I'll go and try some here. I don't really have, like, a mic right here. This is just, like, a box with a new fucking trash can in it. This is a makeshift setup. There's some of my plushies up there. You got the some of the Hex plushies and then some of the more personal ones here. You know. I don't know. I'm going day by day, slowly losing my sanity. But I'm still doing better than I was last year. So, goddammit, that's gotta count for something. Now, let's try this Watergate salad. Also, not even a clue why it's called that. Exactly how I remember it. It is incredibly sweet. Well, but it's not like overbearingly sweet, you know? But it's pretty damn good. If you like pineapple, I highly recommend like looking this up like uh, Julie, if you can, can you put like a a better list of what is in Watergate salad? Spelled exactly how you think it is. But um, yeah, it's really good. And if you like pineapple, I highly recommend it. But moving on to our next one. Yeah, put that there. These are a bit of a classic. These are Deets nuts. I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and just roll the Deets Nuts commercial. Deets Nuts! What are those? These? Deets Nuts. Deets and Watson. Deets Nuts. Those are nuts. Deets Nuts aren't nut nuts. Deets Nuts are meat nuts. Those are meat nuts. Meat nuts. They're Deets Nuts. Can I get one of those? Go ahead. Grab a handful of Deets Nuts. Gotta get a good grip in there. Hey, Chris, how do these nuts taste? Are they delicious? What a fun snack. So I have had these once, like, forever ago. I think maybe they came out around 2018-ish. I'm probably wrong about that, or I could be right. Who knows? I'm sure the editors do, but, you know... They're kind of just, well, they're meat bites, but they're called Deets Nuts because that's fucking amazing. Deets and Watson is who made them. So if you guys were, if you guys have ever had the, uh, the Feastables chocolate that Mr. Beast does, I thought about doing a video on that. They used to have one called Deets Nuts. Here's a picture of it. But because of this, uh, because of like a fucking lawsuit with, I think, some like nut company named Deets Nuts, like D-E-E-S. 
like like didn't let them do it and that sucks because like that was the best one and now it's just like eh, it's just peanut butter flavored as labeling it's just like oh well, come on that was the funny one but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about deets nuts damn it and these are meat bites original smoked sausage and i like i said i had these like forever ago i don't really remember i remember liking them and that's about it so you know that's kind of what we're working with here but uh you're gonna <laughs> here <laughs> you're gonna like deets nuts the fucking commercial is just they knew exactly what they're doing. I could be incredibly wrong just because I've been watching a ton of stoner comedy movies, but I think the one the one dude from Hot Tub Time Machine is in that commercial. Again, I could be wrong. I just, he's been in a lot of shit I've been watching recently, and I just, I don't know. But uh, here's what they look like. Nothing really too special, but... uh. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty firm. They're not like super crunchy or anything. Well, they're not crunchy, but I love like meat steaks and fucking like jerky, Slim Jims and all that shit because I'm fat. All right. Come at me. But these are pretty good. And there's there's not too many in here. It says there's uh, 16 grams of protein in here per serving. Not, not, not a bad little bag. They were 99 cents a piece at the place I get my groceries from. But, uh. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm sorry, guys. I'm about to fucking bust through these real quick. You like a fucking time lapse of me eating these? Alright, I can't eat them all. I'm not that hungry, believe it or not. All right, so this last thing here is chocolate. Tony's Chocolony. I had never heard of this before until I went to this grocery store that I lived near. And they had like a regular bar, but it's like, uh, guys, if you can, try to see if you can find a picture. It's Tony's Chocolony. It's like, it's like split into, like the, the regular size bar is split into these like really weird, like triangular and like just misshapen pieces, but I love it. And it's just like, it's just really good ass chocolate. And they also make ice cream, which is that flavor. But this caught my eye when I was in the store today uh, because, well, it's it's like a game. Now I didn't really look into what these, into which ones these are, but they do say on the back and I, cause I wanted to save it to see in this video. So the kinds we have I'll hold it like this. Uh, where can I read it? All right. Uh, let's go and uh, list, list, list them off right here. The red is milk chocolate. The orange is milk chocolate caramel sea salt. I'm also like partially red green colorblind, so these are like a little wonky for me. The yellow is milk chocolate nougat. The... Uh, I think these are both green, but I'm just going up the list here. The next one, greenish one, is dark chocolate almond sea salt. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that one. And then next we have milk chocolate hazelnut. And then coming in last, we have dark chocolate. I gotta be honest, I am a hardcore dark chocolate lover. Listen, I'm not gonna be a bitch about it and, and, be, and be like, oh, if you don't like it, you suck. But anyone I've come across, just about everyone, it's just like, dark chocolate is the worst fucking thing in the world. And if you, and, and like, it's terrible. Why, how could you eat that stuff? It's not even good. It's just like, I, I guess, I guess we're just not allowed to like different things anymore. <laughs> fucking 2024 and I got this old ass man telling me. Yeah, you can't like that. Anyways, useless nagging aside about society. I'm going to try a bite of each of these. Because I, I, well, I want to save them mostly, but still for the video. And uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, yeah, I am a little all over the place. Like I said, you know, a little, a little bit of sanity in the old nog we have here. I am not doing a good job opening this. Hey, there we go. Ooh, these are nice. So I guess I'll start in the same way that I read them off, which is starting with red. 
being, oh my God, I already forgot, milk chocolate, everybody. I am lactose intolerant and lately it's become a real problem and I'm just going to end it there. But this should be good. Crazy about chocolate, serious about people. Nice. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's open her up. I'm curious if uh, how this is uh, broken up. Ah, I was right. It is broken. Up. So it's broken up in this really weird diagonal pattern way, and I really like it. I don't super know why, but I think that's cool. So let's just break off a little piece there. And I will save the rest of that for later. This is the milk chocolate. That's pretty good, you know. It's not the... I forget what the original, like, big one I had first was. But it's definitely not that one. Because it had, like, bits of, like, brownie in it. That's all I'm really working on. I don't really see the big one anymore. So, that's pretty good. It's pretty standard for like a milk chocolate chalk bar. Chalk bar? Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. And yeah, it's pretty good. Also, this is something I wanted to read. I don't know what it says, but it says, Together we'll make chocolate 100% slave free. Nice. Well, you know, just another reason to support them. Tony's Chalk Holiday. Sick. All right, well, now, like I said, pretty standard for a milk chocolate chocolate bar. Let's move on to the milk chocolate uh, caramel sea salt. I am a pretty big fan of sea salt, so, you know, curious to see how this one is going to be. Let's see if it's anything. Now, they all say crazy about chocolate, serious about people. This unit is not labeled for retail sale, so you can have it. Also, can I just get real for a second here and unironically say free palestine this shit going on in the world is terrible sorry to fully segue that but it's terrible and i feel like it needs to be talked about it's not comfortable to hear about because it's not a good thing going on in the world it's absolute genocide and the world just seems to not be doing anything about it and that's where i'll leave that here i'm not gonna get into super much i could talk for hours about how much that's fucked up but you know you could do your own research, and it's terrifying. But anyways, this is the chocolate caramel sea salt one. And also, the little bit I'm biting off, they all say Tony's Chocolate. Of course. That's pretty cool. Got your nice little branding on there. I respect it. Oh yeah, damn. That one's pretty good. Very similar to the milk chocolate one, but you know, the added caramel and sea salt. But definitely like, if we're like ranking these, and red's at like, red's like a, the red's like a, like, 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 the, the fucking I can't tier. see, oh, oh my, my god. god. And like the, the tier list scale, red would be at like a C tier. Oh, well, I, no, I put it, well, I, yeah, yeah. And I put orange here at B tier. All right, move it. The fucking nerd. Let's just put them all up to the side here for you all to look at. I see Porkchop is down here being his mischievous normal self he is. Next, we got milk chocolate nougat. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember what nougat is. This is what nougat is, though. This is yellow, a.k.a. milk chocolate with nougat. All right, well, it's not bad. I gotta be honest. I think I, I, think I kinda remember what nougat is now, and I don't think I was ever really a huge fan of it. Now, I'm not knocking it. I always got to be specific these days. I don't hate it. But I think that's definitely the lowest of the ones I've had so far. So, I, I, so I'd, I'd probably put that in... In like a... In a high D tier, okay? I, I gotta be honest. 
All right, but moving on to, uh, I guess it's like a lighter green, technically. Uh, dark chocolate almond sea salt. Oh, I am looking forward to this one a lot. Like I said, dark chocolate, sea salt, fucking love that. Significantly darker piece than the rest. I guess, well, dark chocolate. They haven't made a white chocolate one, though. I fucking hate white chocolate, and I'm sorry. I, I have to say it. It was my least favorite type of chocolate ever. And I just feel like there are better options. And I just, you gotta, you gotta just know that that's my opinion, and I'm sorry. But, hey, dark chocolate sea salt. All right, a few things. As far as dark chocolate goes, it's a little on the lower side. I like my dark chocolate to be bitter. I like that bit. The bitterness on this one is very mild. I'd say like on a bitterness scale of one being low is five being the highest. It's about a two and a half. The sea salt though, however, is of like sea salt related candy I've had. The sea salt in this is like actually really good. I'd put that in the same one to five scale, i put that about a four. So that I feel like does make up for it. But on the scale, I think I'm gonna put this in a solid B. All right, moving on to our next one, we have milk chocolate hazelnut. Sick, I like hazelnut, especially in coffee. I know I don't think that's as big of a popular flavor anymore, but I, I think there used to be like hazelnut M&Ms Maybe. I seem to recall having those, and I liked them. I don't know. I like hazelnut. I don't know why I'm trying to defend it so much like someone's attacking me, but god damn it, it's all right. <laughs> I don't know. Only got one more after this. This is milk chocolate hazelnut. bit more nutty tasting it has like a more like earthy taste to it not that great though I unfortunately it's not really that good I'd have to rank that just probably like a mid D like it would definitely be below whatever I said is in D before because I have a horrible memory but our last one here is just plain old dark chocolate ending it with probably one of the best ones it's got a nice, like, dark bluish color to it. And you're gonna soft here with just regular old dark chocolate. Like I said, the dark chocolate is kind of like, like I said, a two on the one to five scale, so that not paired with the sea salt. Kinda iffy, which is also unfortunate to say. I don't wanna end it on a too low note though, cause since I do still like it, I'll put it at a C. A nice middle ground to end us back off with. Porkchop just sat on the chair that's next to me. He's looking cute. You know what? Let me show him to you. Well, God damn it! would you look at this little cutie? He's so adorable. And that was pork chop, everybody. So yeah, that was some just pretty decent snacks from my local grocery store. I don't know. I kind of wanted to film a video and I figured, hey, because I saw the uh, chocolate bars and I figured, oh, those are cool. I wonder, because if there's something special, I, I could do a little something out of that. And then paired with these, I figured this made a pretty good video. I've been recording for about 22 minutes, so I'm sure edit it down. This will be a nice, enjoyable watch for y'all, hopefully at least. But I uh, hope you're having a good year so far. Mine's been a little all over the place, but relatively okay. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, end it there. And uh, I'm Witch for Stupidity. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.